because now I left school in 2015 and it hasn't taken me long to realise that what they teach in schools doesn't necessarily help you in life, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So today I'm going to be talking about what they should teach in schools and what really isn't that important. Now, algebra, I don't think algebra is that important in life, so let's just put that out there and say it's, it shouldn't be taught in schools because, you know, like I said, I don't really see it as a life skill. I mean, I'm not going to go into any profession that requires me to use algebra. Right, it's the same with Pythagoras theorem. I don't think I'll be using Pythagoras theorem in any of my careers, but it is, it, you know, it is necessary in some professions, but not in, in any profession that I might be going into. So I, I'm, I'm all right, but Pythagoras, like I, I completely understand it, but I just don't think it's necessary for me personally. But the one lesson that is that I think is crucial is history because without history we you know without I don't know how to explain it because without history events that have happened recently might not have happened, they might have happened so So for example because of the because of the Titanic, every ship in the world has to carry enough lifeboats to accommodate other passengers. Because of 9-11, we have stricter protocols at airports. America's gun laws. Um, all right, they haven't done much to prevent them, but you know, we haven't, you know, the world's not over yet. So hopefully they'll pull their finger out. Um, it's the same, and you know, the suffragettes. Because of the suffragettes and the war effort, all the women helped help run the country as well as the men were on the Western Front. Women in I think in 1921, women over 30 actually ended up getting the vote, which wasn't all women, granted, but it, it was a step. And then it eventually became all women um, over 18 could get the vote. So spot on. And that's why I think history is one of the most important lessons in school. But another lesson that they don't teach in school, and they, should, and they certainly should, is that it is okay to fail. It's fine to fail. Like, I would rather f go bankrupt and then earn, my mil earn a million pounds rather than just earn it straight away. Because if I earned it straight away, I wouldn't... I wouldn't know what it's like to get knocks on my backside and then work and then build myself back up again. So it's being satisfied with what, what you've done. I mean, I think in a biology test I got like 12 out of 35. I'm not good at science. I am not good at science at all. And I just basically felt like I, I couldn't do it. And because of that, because I felt like I couldn't do it, I didn't want to do it. I hate science. Absolutely hate it. Well, in school, anyway, I absolutely hate science. I dreaded every single lesson, chemistry, physics, and biology. But I enjoyed history because... I, I enjoyed history because I, lear I loved learning about things that happened in the past and what we can learn from it and things like that. So, but one, another thing that they don't teach in school is that how to pay a tax. I, I have no idea how to pay a tax, to be quite honest. And we used to have these lessons called uh, PSHE lessons or CPSHE, and depending on where you're from, I mean, I have no idea what it stands for, but I think it's um, it covers life skills and things like that. Uh, applying for mortgages, uh, how to apply for a loan, um, paying a tax was never once covered in those in those PSHE lessons, and I really think they should have. But you know, I'm 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 not part of Ofsted, so no one from you know, no one is gonna hope. For, well, 
someone might agree with these comments, but I don't think anything will be changed depending just because an 18 year old lad has put his point across, you know. They're gonna shout at, they're gonna make notice, oh my god I can't even, they're gonna take notice of a group of people saying the same thing, not just one person saying the same thing. Anyway, that doesn't just apply to Ofsted, that applies all the that applies in all circumstances. Right, I'm going to wrap this video up now. So, thank you very so much for watching, guys. If you if you agree with these some of these comments, let me know down. Let me know down in the comments, and let me know what you think should be taught in school and what shouldn't be. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more amazing content. And follow me on Twitter, I'll put my links down in the description and I will see you at on Wednesday at 4pm. Bye guys.